Right, so the main reason we want to get this 3D printed is so we can use this section for an aluminium sand casting. But first, we're going to be using one of these to make the knife bit. Okay, so that's the angle grinder done. Now we've got a couple to play with because we're not sure quite sure how this is going to go. Uh, it's quite a deep bevel on that one, so we're going to try and do the best we can with this thin material. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so that's most of the grinding done. We don't want to go too far with it because we're going to heat treat this and if we go really thin, the blade's going to warp around. So we've left a little bit of meat on the blade which will take off after the blade's been heat treated. Okay, so this is going to be our, I mean our mold. Mold. I haven't figured the word, but mold? So this is going to be our mold for our sand casting. So I've just been trying to take off some of those sort of vertical edges. So when it is pushed into the sand, it leaves a really nice, clean impression. Cool, so aluminium cast is all done, picked up loads of detail, looks really good compared to what we had on the 3D print, which we're really happy with. Just gotta work out how to get rid of all this excess and give it a bit of a clean up and a polish. So this boy is now hardened, so it is very brittle at the moment though. So we've gotta get it tempered and then get it sharpened up and work out how we're gonna get it fitted to the main hand.
Okay, cool. So the blade is finished tempering in the oven. And I, need... I need to make sure that when we sharpen this, it's not going to get too hot. <laughs> so while Johnny's finishing filing that piece of aluminium over there, I'm going to sharpen this on the belt grinder, making sure I keep it nice and cool uh, and dunk it in water every so often just to make sure it doesn't heat up too much and ruin that heat treat. Let's see how it goes. Right, so that's all the shaping done. We've been sure to include this little flat spot just under the fingers, just so we have a safe spot to drill into when we're putting the tang in place. Da 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 da